Hey, what's up, player? This is Catch22, and welcome to the Sega Holic. Hey, what's up, boys and girls? Welcome to episode 56 of the Sega Holic. And uh, in this episode, we're going to be finishing up our um, PC Engine RGB amp build. First off, we're going to need a 3x7 centimeter proto board. And then we need our extension bus connector. And I removed some of the middle pins so I don't have to do too much soldering. It also helps to free up some space on the proto board. Here I'm using liquid rosin flux from MG Chemical. Um, you can get this from either Amazon or from Fries Electronics if there's one around you. I find using this one inch lure needle great for application control. Using flux helps keep uh, the solder away from the solder resist areas. Years back when I first started working for this major aerospace company, one of the requirements was to get your solder certification and be solder certified. Solder joints had to be nice and shiny like this. I'm going to be using an 8 pin mini DIN connector. This is a female mini DIN connector, the same one that the Framemeister uses. Here I'm using a 14 pin dip socket just in case I wanted to switch out the chips later on. And here I'm putting on the 5.01 mega ohm pull up resistors. And here's the output uh, 75 ohm resistors. And these are the 0.1 microfarad capacitors at the inputs. I'm using tape here so it doesn't move while soldering. Sorry I got lazy, but here's the circuit finally built. I added a power indicator light because the PC engine does not have one. Here I'm adding the RGB amplifier to the 14 pin socket. Here I'm adjusting the sync amplifier. Since I'm only using one channel, the last four pins can hang off the socket. With the ICs finally installed, Here's the PC Engine RGB adapter, fully built. For the wires, I used Jonard 26 gauge silver coated Kanai wire. I'm pretty happy with how the adapter turned out, with especially its size, it's nice and compact. And here it is installed on the PC engine.
And here it is, hooked up to the Frame Meister. And here's a look at the video output with the Frame Meister outputting at 1080p. Pretty happy with the video. Again, it's pretty pristine. The one major knock on this adapter is the hum that you can hear on the audio lines. Here is 720p video with scan lines outputted by the Frame Meister. With the source video being 720p, the video is being upscaled to 1080p with Final Cut Pro. Hopefully this doesn't affect the quality too much when viewed on YouTube on a smart TV. With that said, I'd encourage anyone with a PC engine to try this. Uh, the parts are cheap and it's relatively easy to do. Anyways, if you have questions or comments, make sure to leave them in the comments section below. I'm going to conclude this video by saying uh, my thoughts and prayers are all to those folks hurting right now in Florida. Too much of this going on. Anyways, take care of one another. Peace. Hold on, fire, honey.